everyone, it's Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make our Country Christmas Angel Hot Pad and Decoration. Now, this is our fourth pattern for our Country Christmas series. We did a Country Christmas Heart, we did a Country Christmas Christmas Tree, and we did a Country Christmas star and you can find all three of those patterns on the link that also has the pattern for our country angel and of course and as always you can find that link down in the notes underneath this video our country angel hot pad and decoration measures about eight by eight inches it's a very nice size for using as an actual hot pad or just using as a decoration. Now, this one is made in acrylic yarns. It's a white speckle, medium weight, number four acrylic yarn. This one is made in sugar and cream stripes, and the name of that is Holiday Stripes. It is 100% cotton. And that's where we get this country look from because it has the variegation of the red and the greens and the off-white. It's become one of my favorite Christmas yarns. You're gonna need about two and a half ounces. That's probably a little more than you need, but I always like to give you just a little bit more than you need, that way you don't run out. All right, you can choose whatever button that you like. I'm going to be doing our demonstration like this one and I'm going to use a wooden button. It's about 3 8 inch button, but any size you can use, it's just up to you what you like. This one I used package satin ribbon. This one I used that country ribbon. Here's the ribbon I used for that one, and this one here. Ribbons are totally up to you. You just don't wanna to go too thick or it looks a little bit chunky. So it's kind of up to you, half inch to three eighths inch ribbon, and you're gonna need about 18 inches to tie your bow. If you choose a button that has a shank on the back, you can sew it on with your needle. But if you choose one like this, that the holes are very small, I use the E6000, it works perfect. But remember, if you're going to use this as a real hot pad, keep in mind that that button is made of wood and you don't want to put anything hot on top of that. All right, so we're going to be stitching today with, with our 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. And of course, you're going to need a pair of scissors. We'll be starting at the top of our angel, then we'll do the wings and the skirt working down. We're going to begin with a slip knot and then we're going to chain 15 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 chains. This is going to form the ring at the top of our angel. So we're going to put the tail of our yarn over our hook, put it through the loop, and just snug that down and then we'll tie that stay knot to keep our ring together. We're going to be stitching single crochets on our chain loop or ring, and then we're, we're going to be stitching over this tail of yarn as well. So we're going to go in, pull up a loop, and chain one. That's going to get us just on top of our loop. Now we're going to stitch 15 single crochets around this loop. So we'll go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through both loops. So there's one, two, three, four, five. I have stitched my 15 single crochets I'm going to join to the first single crochet, not the chain one, but the first single crochet with a slip stitch and chain three. 
So for row one, we have 15 single crochets. We joined and chained three. Now for row two, we're going to be forming the wings of our angel. And what we're going to do is we're going to work in what's called the front loops only. And if you look at the top of your row, you'll see that there are loops in the front and loops in the back. We're going to be stitching first in this row of front loops. Our chain three here counts as one, and so we're going to double crochet in the same front loop as our chain three. Now we'll go to the next single crochet and we'll stitch two single crochets in the front loop only. And so we're going to stitch, we've stitched two in the first, two in the next, and we're going to stitch two double crochets in the next six stitches. And again, we're only working in the front loops only. And because we'll have a total of 16 double crochets working in the front loops only. And that's because we stitched two in each of the eight. The chain three counted as our first, and then we stitched one in that one. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Fourteen and two more in the next. So working in the front loops only, we stitched two double crochets in each of the eight stitches. So we have a total of 16 double crochets working in the front loops only. So this formed the first front portion of her wings. Now we're going to turn our work and we're not going to chain three or chain one or anything. We're just going to turn this over. And now these are the back loops, but because we're stitching on this side, they become the front loops. We're gonna call them the other loops so that we don't get confused. And these are the loops that we didn't stitch in when we stitched in the front loops on this side. So what we're going to do is we're going to stitch two double crochets in each of those other loops. One, two. Two double crochets in each of those loops. Still working in the loops from the first row and these are the back loops, although because we turned our work, they're now called the front loops because they're facing us. So don't let that confuse you. We're stitching two double crochets in each of those loops, and there'll be eight loops, and we'll have 16 double crochets. I've stitched those two double crochets in each of those eight stitches. So I have 16 double crochets on the back and 16 double crochets on the front. So that gives us a total of 32 double crochets. We're going to join to that chain three where we started with a slip stitch and chain three. And you can see how the angel wings are already forming. All right, now for row two, we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next stitch. We're not stitching in front loops or back loops anymore. Now the next stitch, we're going to stitch two double crochets. One and two. 
And so for this row, which is row three, we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next two, one and two. Then we'll stitch two double crochets in the next. One double crochet in the next two. And two double crochets in the next. We'll repeat this working all the way across the front and across the back. One double crochet in the next two and two double crochets in the next working all the way around the angel wing and then we'll join back to our chain three. I have stitched one double crochet in the next two, two in the next, all the way around the wing portion of my angel. Here's my last double crochet. I'm going to join to that first chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. All right, now we're going to do row four. On row four, we're going to be doing one double crochet in the next three and then two in the next. Our chain three counts as our first, so we'll double crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, and that will give us three there, and then two in the next. One and two. And so our repeat for row four is one double crochet in the next three double crochets. And then two double crochets in the next. And repeat. And we'll repeat this all the way around our wing and join back to our first chain three. I have completed row four, stitching one double crochet in the next three and two in the next. I joined to the chain three and chained three. Now we're going to do one more row on the wings. And on this row, we're going to do four double crochets and then two in the next. So our chain three counts as our first, one double crochet in the next three, and that gives us our four double crochets, and then two double crochets in the next. And this is our repeat for row five. One double crochet in the next four, and two double crochets in the next, one and two. One, two, three, four, and two in the next, one and two. And that's our repeat for row five, four and two, working all the way around our wings and join back to our chain three. I have completed row five, stitching four double crochets and then two in the next. I joined to my chain three and chained one. Now we're going to slip stitch in the next 10 stitches. So we'll go in, pull up a loop, pull that loop through the loop on our hook. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we're going to chain three and stitch a double crochet in that same stitch. Now we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next. We'll stitch two double crochets in the next. One and two and then one double crochet in the next. Two double crochets in the next and there we go. Got to put that second one in there and then one double crochet in the next. All right, we're going to repeat that three more times. Two double crochets in the next. One double crochet in the next. Two double crochets in the next. One and two. And one double crochet in the next. Two double crochets. One and two and one double crochet in the next. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 double crochets. Two double crochets in one stitch and then one in the next. So we've stitched the front part of the skirt, and so now we need to go to the back so that we have those same stitches. Make sure everything's lined up, and we'll stitch two double crochets. One and two, and one double crochet in the next, and then we'll repeat this across. One, two and one All right, so you want to look at it. You want to make sure everything is lined up nicely. You should have 18 double crochets on the back and 18 double crochets on the front, two and one, two and one across. And now we're going to join to the chain three here where we started with our slip stitch and chain three. All right, so we have 18 double crochets on the front and 18 double crochets on the back. So that gives us 36 double crochets. We joined and then chain three. Now we're going to begin forming the granny square style stitches across the skirt of our angel. We're going to stitch two double crochets in the same stitch as our chain three. Chain one, we're going to skip the next two stitches and stitch three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain one, skip two and stitch three double crochets. and chain one. And you'll repeat this all the way around the skirt, going around the front and the back, and join back up to our chain three. Three double crochets, chain one, skip two, and repeat. I have repeated 
three double crochets, chain one, skip two all the way around. Here's my last chain one. I'm going to join to that chain three where we started with a slip stitch. I'm going to slip stitch in the next two double crochets, slip stitch in the next chain one space, and chain three. And you should have 12 of the chain three clusters all right, so now what we're going to do is we're just basically going to repeat what we did. We're going to stitch two more double crochets in this chain one space and chain one. Three double crochets in the next chain one space and chain one. And repeat all the way around our angel skirt. We stitched three double crochets in each of the chain one spaces and chained one all the way around. We joined back to our chain three and slip stitched to the next chain one space just like we did on the previous row. And now we're going to stitch three double crochets. Chain one counts as our first, so we just need to stitch two more chain one. So basically what we're going to do for row nine is just repeat row eight. I have completed row nine, which was a repeat of row eight, three double crochets in the chain one space and chain one in between. Now row 10 is basically the same. The only difference is we're going to chain two between our clusters. So my chain three counts as one. So I'll stitch two more double crochets in that chain one space and chain two. And we'll repeat this working all the way around our skirt. Three double crochets in the chain one space and chain two. We'll work it all the way around our skirt and join back to our chain three. Three double crochets in the chain one space and chain two. I have completed row 10, three double crochets in each of the chain one spaces and we chain two in between instead of the chain one. Now we're gonna put that little trim on the bottom of our angel's skirt. I join to the top of my chain three and I'm going to chain three. I'm only going to skip the next stitch and slip stitch in the next. There we go. Chain three, skip the next, slip stitch in the next. Chain three, skip the next and slip stitch in the next. Chain three, skip the next and slip stitch in the next. And this is going to give us that little ruffle edge that is at the bottom of our skirt. And we'll repeat this all the way around. Chain three, skip one and slip stitch in the next. I have stitched that little lacy edge on my skirt of my angel and now we're going to join to that first slip stitch and I'm at the end of that yarn. We'll tie that off and weave that in. I'm just going to pull it to the back right now. So I can show you how to do the trim on the angel wings. We're going to be doing the same trim on the edge of the wings that we did on the edge of the skirt. All right, so we're gonna turn it over to where you want the back of your angel to be. We're going to join in our yarn. 
and pull that to the inside there because we're going to weave that in later. There we go. And now we're just going to go along and do the same thing. We're going to chain three. Skip the next stitch and slip stitch in the next. Chain three. Skip the next stitch and slip stitch in the next. And we'll do this all around the wing here. I have continued stitching, slip stitch, chain three, skip the next all the way around. I'm going to cut this yarn and tie off. Now, <clears throat> what I like to do is just grab my needle and weave these two ends in. We've completed our country angel, and now all we have to do is add the details. I've taken my needle and woven in all my ends, and she is ready. And so I've cut off a piece of ribbon, and I'm going to put the ribbon right here in the center. So I'm just going to go around a couple of stitches and pull my ribbon through. See if it's in the center. And tie a bow. Now the size of the bow, of course, is up to you. It can be bigger or smaller. Some I do bigger, some I do smaller. Give it a good tug. Make sure everything's lined up nicely. I think I'm going to pull those a little farther. There we go. And then I have my wooden button that I'm going to put right here. Now, I don't have a needle that will go through those tiny little holes. And so I'm going to use my E6000 glue. If you want to sew on your button, or maybe it has a shank or larger buttonholes, that's fine too. This E6000 works really good, and if you don't have E6000, you can always use your hot glue. I've really found that this glue works really well with my crochet items. And I don't have to worry about it being in the elements or anything. A lot of times with your hot glue, if it's too hot, it gets soft and gooey. And if it's too cold, it gets hard and cracky. And so sometimes it doesn't hold together well. And so the E6000 is a great glue. It's an industrial strength adhesive. And um, I've had lots of people ask me where to find it. You can find it at any hardware store and any of the stores like Walmart that have craft sections as well as Joann. So it's a really great glue. Just go look for the super glue aisle. All right, so there is our country angel. Here's the other one that I did. And I really like the way that the yarns play because you don't get the same look every time with this yarn. And don't forget, you can also use acrylic yarns to make our country angel. Thank you.